Useful Phrases for Beginners, Part 7 If you're watching me for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you turn on the notification button to get all videos. Hey guys, this is Omnia Ismot talking to you, hope you're doing well. And in this video, we are going to continue our series Useful Phrases for Beginners. Please note that in this video, we are going to focus on our daily routine activities. I mean, what do you do every day? In the last video, we stopped at number 60, so in this video, we are going to continue until we reach number 70. The first thing that I do in my day is waking up. So, I wake up at 7. I wake up at 7. I wake up at 7. I use this phrase to mean that I just open my eyes and that's it. So if you just open your eyes and you are still in your bed, you're gonna say, I wake up at 7. Let's move on to number 62. I get up at 7.30. I get up at 7.30. I use this phrase when I start to get away from my bed. And take care guys that here I have two ways to pronounce the T sound. I can say I get up and I can say 30. However, I can use the American accent and I can say I get up, I get up, I get up. And here I can say 30, 30, 30. It's like light D sound or R sound. Again, if you're saying I get up at 7.30, this is not wrong, but I prefer to use the American accent, so I'm gonna say I get up at 7.30. Let's move on to number 63. I go into the bathroom. I go into the bathroom. I go into the bathroom. So this is the third thing that I can do in my day. So first, I wake up. Second, I get up. And third, I go into the bathroom. Number 64. I take a shower. I take a shower. Shower. Take care of the R sound, okay? If you didn't watch the first episode from the Fanatics course, I leave you the link, guys, below this video. So, I take a shower. Number 65. I wash my hands. I wash my hands. I wash my hands, or you can say I wash my face, or both, actually. So, I wash my hands and I wash my face. Let's move on to number 66. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. So I don't say wash, I wash my teeth. No, we don't actually say that. We use brush more than wash or clean if you're speaking about your teeth. So I brush my teeth. Again, I brush my Let's teeth. Let's move on to number 67. I shave my face. I shave my face. I shave my face. This phrase, of course, guys, is related to gentlemen, not to the ladies. So you can say, I shave my face. Let's move on to number 68. I get dressed. I get dressed. Dressed, not dressed. Okay, so I get dressed. And this phrase, guys, gives you the same meaning of I wear my clothes. I wear my clothes. But this one is shorter and it's more commonly used. Final time, let's listen to me. I get dressed. What about number 69? I button my shoes. What? What are you saying? I button my shoes. What is button, Omnia? Like you're saying button. Okay, right now you can say this phrase easily, like I put on my shoes, but I don't like you to stop between put and on. Plus, I don't like you to pronounce the T normally. I would like you to say it like American accent. So try to make this T like D sound light D sound and then connect between put and on so I put on my shoes I put on my shoes right now I'm moving to number 70 and the last one in this video actually we have three phrases included in this number the first two they are related to the meal that you do eat in the morning and the last one is related to the final thing that you do before going to work so I make breakfast I make breakfast or I prepare breakfast then you can use two verbs, like if you are speaking about the process of eating itself, you can say I have breakfast or I eat breakfast. 
So first of all, I make or I prepare breakfast and then I have or I eat breakfast. And finally, you will leave the apartment, right? So then I leave the apartment. The apartment is not the apartment because if you find after the a vowel sound or a vowel letter, you're gonna say the, not the, okay? I feel you benefited from this video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Wait for the coming videos in this series, and of course, have a lovely day.